Hello and welcome everybody. I am Herbert, aka DIT Guy. Um, I'm using my camera for the first time here to do a little bit of a review or a little bit of an overview of this product that I bought off of Amazon. And um, since it's the end of the year, some people might be looking into buying presents. This is what I did. So I picked this mouse up from Amazon for, I think about, I think it was 18 euros. Uh, which you know equates to about a little bit less than twenty dollars, and um, I was choosing this mouse because I was looking for a budget option, a budget mouse uh, that I was going to give to my cousin. So um, yeah, so first of all, let's open the box here. And as you can see, when you open the box, it's not really any fancy packaging. It's just the mouse in some. Uh, foil some some wrapping and here is the mouse itself so let's open up the box and let's take this out here there we go we got some uh, books over here what they are saying oh like so it says hey we're super pumped you like our products we love making our customers happy it makes us happy to hear you had a good experience with us. Well, let's see if we have a good experience, right? So they're assuming that we're going to have a good experience already. Uh, we don't know that yet. So that's why we're doing this review. Uh, and also they say, are you unhappy with our product? Our customer service agents will do everything possible to resolve your complaint. And we have other things in other languages. This is the user manual. It tells you how to use a mouse. So I'm guessing that people already know how to use a mouse. So let's move all of the packaging here. Let's move that aside and let's have a look at the mouse itself. So this is the mouse. Um, right out of the bat, I would say that the build quality on top is pretty okay, actually. Also, the clicking of the mouse, let me move it a little bit closer to my microphone here. It, it sounds pretty neat. So we do have nice clicks. Uh, we don't have that plastic feel, which we uh, get a lot. Um, we do have a braided cord, which is also nice. And we have this ferrite cord. So a normal uh, USB connector, of course. And we do get one, two, three. Here's a DPI switch. So we do have a DPI switch. And we also have this button over here, I think, uh, is for the lighting. I don't know if you can see that. Let me close, move it a little bit closer here. So you get a button to turn on the RGB lights. And we have the side buttons, so the back and front. Um, so I must say that the mouse is pretty large. So I have pretty large hands. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I have pretty large hands. And this mouse would actually fit my hands very neatly. I already have a Logitech G502 Hero right now. And that mouse is a little bit smaller. So if you're if you're if you already know about the Logitech G502, it is a pretty large mouse. So you have to know that this one is even larger. So you're going to need large hands. And this is actually a present for a child of 12 years old. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's going to fit his hands very well. But you know he'll he'll probably manage. He's a he's a big kid, so he he does have he probably has a little bit bigger hands. Uh, as it comes to the bottom of the mouse we can see that there is a uh, the sensor is right over here and we're going to plug that in and i believe it's a laser sensor it's not an optical sensor so the um, optical sensors they're the one that you know that that emits a red light or even a blue light in some cases anyways it's it's a, a an led light that uh, that shines out of the sensor but i'm thinking that this is going to be a um this is going to be a, uh, a laser mouse. We also have these feet over here and um, I'm going to put that on my mouse pad soon and uh, we'll see how well it slides. So let me get over to my computer right away and let's see how this mouse performs. And we're also going to look at the Havit software that uh, you can download on their website. So I'm doing the comparison with the sizes of the mouse right now. So this one, um, I first thought, so I'm doing a little bit of a size comparison between these two mice here. And this is the Logitech G502 Hero. And this is the mouse that we were uh, just discussing, the Havit one. 
and um, the size you know it doesn't really look that much bigger and actually when I compare them this one's a little bit bigger in the length so it does it has a little bit more of a uh, lengthy feel to it whereas this one has a little bit more of a wide feel to it so it depends a little bit on what you want uh, whether you want like a wider mouse or a small or a little uh, narrower mouse um, but you know of course this one is always going to be the better one this is a I think I paid $50 for this one 50 euros for this one uh, and it was in a discount and normally it would be about 90 or 80 euros so this one is going to be the better one of course uh, and they also it also comes with these little weights that you can put in them that's not the case with this one right so uh, this one is also a lot lighter than this one it's also a bit heavier this one so you're, you're gonna you know you're not gonna cannot expect to have the premium feel of a logitech g502 <laughs> you're bu buying this chinese brand uh, mouse from amazon for 80 euro 18 uh, euros so I'm gonna go over the this button over here which is the light switch so when I press this button over here the lights uh, change color so we can have all kinds of different colors and when I press it multiple times it just shuts off so then there's no more light coming from the mouse I press it again the default profile is activated and then I can cycle through some profiles on here so and this one is the dpi setting so the dpi setting is where you get where you're going to press the button over here and it's going to be uh you know it's going to be cycling through the uh through the mouse speeds that you've set in the software so let me quickly go over the software right now and let's see how uh, that performs so looking at the software right away we can see that it's very clear how these buttons are meant to be programmed which is also a plus you know it's not always that you can program keys with you know, cheap a cheap mice like this but the software does enable you to do so and it's just downloadable from their website so very easy to use uh, we get the left key over here that we can reassign the right key which is just button one button two and then we have the middle mouse which is button three we can also reassign buttons like the middle like the dpi switch and the light switch so when we go over to the DPI loop over here, which is just a button that will loop through all of these DPI cycles. So you can set profiles as well. You can set one, two, three, four, five, six profiles. So it can uh, cycle through those DPI profiles very easily. So we can actually uh, assign a special key. So we can have the fire key, which is actually a, uh, a key that will, um, that will replicate mice, mouse clicks multiple times. We also have the aim key and the aim key is going to switch you back to uh, whatever the lowest DPI setting is. So that's actually when you're pl playing with the sniper rifle and you would actually rather just uh, assign that to number five, I think. When we go over to the advanced uh, section over here, uh, we can have, so like I said, the fire key, you can also put the intervals. Moving speed um, is going to be the mouse moving speed get the double click speed and then rolling speed can also be which is not rolling speed scrolling speed this is a, a this is a chinese company so the translations might be a little bit off light uh led status open and close well that's probably more with uh, that, that's probably like more enable and disable and led mode setting colorful light dpi mode we can actually have the LEDs do multiple things, I think. Light speed, fast, slow. Uh, you can have some macros over here, and this is just uh, a language selector. Um, yeah, so overall, um, if I would be, you know, somebody who, who doesn't have a lot of money and I would buy this mouse, um, I would be very happy. Now, one thing I have to note, when you put it next to something like the G502, just the feeling that you get from dragging this mouse from left to right is one thing that you know that puts me off a little bit but you can get something like mouse gates you know and it's gonna maybe be a little bit better and you're gonna you know maybe have a, it's gonna be a little bit more pricey and when you're coming into that next uh, price category you're better off with something like the cheapest logitech mouse which is about 30 euros so if you're really on a budget and you can't miss the 12 dollars more for that mouse 
um, or if you're you know if you're like me and you're buying this for a kid and it's his first time and you know that the mouse is probably gonna break sometimes then it's a good idea to just buy a mouse like this one I wouldn't buy this for myself by the way um, although I am quite surprised by the feel of the mouse so the, the texture on top of the mouse is pretty cool for me I, sometimes they feel so cheap that it doesn't even feel like a gaming mouse and this one does feel like a gaming mouse you immediately feel the difference you know the shape of the mouse the 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 colors of course the rgb colors that you get with it but also just the feel and the texture of the mouse itself so i think i'm gonna leave it at that guys there's not too much to be said about this mouse to be honest with you um it is a good product for the price but again if you're a real gamer and you're you know you don't really have a budget for a mouse or you know your budget is not as low as this one of course you know you can get decent gaming mouse mice for 50 euros or 50 dollars easily uh, if your budget is not as low as uh, as 20 euros or 20 dollars then i would suggest you just buy a decent mouse and uh yeah so i think that i'm gonna do i'm gonna give it a big thumbs up for the effort that they did uh, it's definitely a, my, a mouse that I would have bought when I was like 16 years old and I was struggling to buy my first computer and, you know, having that $20 because I wanted to go out in the, on the weekends, you know, that uh, might you know pull me over the edge and get me to buy this mouse over here. But generally speaking, I would just say that buy it if you're on a budget. If you're not on a budget, just skip it and go over to Logitech or Corsair or Razer or SteelSeries, whatever uh, good mice you can find. There are going to be a lot better choices than this one when you're not on a budget. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.